Time to finish this! I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? Another angel? Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Yggdrasil. Leader of Crucius, and the Desions. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Perish! I got it! I saw it! I summoned the soul! Die! Holy Lance! Resurrection! Kratos, I trust you have no objections? <sighs> Farewell. Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel! We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive! Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the Renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. Lloyd, you're finally awake! Uh, well, where are we? Where's Colette? She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Desions. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called renegades and not designs? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the renegades oppose the designs. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like designs. Alright, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the renegades that looks a lot like the designs. So then who was that angel guy, you Drassil or whatever? What about Kratos? Do you remember Yggdrasil's words? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Desions may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait. What? 
How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the designs as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the Design Five Grand Cardinals said that their boss was Eugdrasil. And Eugdrasil said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Designs when he appeared before us. If the Designs and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasil's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four Seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate of Eugdrasil. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos! Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Our leader awaits you. You're finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martel is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of exphere called Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martel and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the designs, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? Do they wish to revive the goddess Martel? They send oracles to those of the Mana lineage and control their marriages to create Chosens who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I am impressed. There is another world beyond Silverant that competes for mana. Tetheola. Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was Crucius's leader, Yggdrasil. Create a world? That's ridiculous. No one can do that. If that's what you believe, then our conversation ends here. Wait. If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me. You're certainly not on our side. And yet for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on her. But now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? Well, what's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma! Ugh. Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... Lloyd! What are you doing? 